summer, we're studying abroad in London, so we've created this YouTube channel to take you along on our journey with us. We are juniors at Eastern Kentucky University, and we are both studying communication. We're going to be taking two classes over in London. One of them is for advanced public speaking, and the other one is intercultural communications, taught by our favorite professor, so that's kind of cool. I am a scholarship recipient um, for the Storyteller Scholarship given to me by CCSA, and I also have a blog that I'll be doing called Life by Rachel, which you can find linked below to have more adventures by us too. Since we will be leaving in less than three weeks to study abroad, we thought now would be a great time to show you everything that we plan on taking in our carry-on bag. We've done a lot of research on this and we've watched many videos doing the same thing from other people, so we thought it'd be cool for us to do our own. We'll both be taking a purse and a book bag with us on the plane as well as the checked bag, but we're not going to give that up today. So uh, today we'll begin with the purses. bag that I will be taking as my purse. It's kind of like my easy access bag for anything that I might need. I got it at Target two years ago. I got this bag from TJ Maxx. Um, it was an impulse buy. And the first thing I have in here is my new wallet. I got this from Target, also an impulse buy. It just contains, you know, my cards, my IDs and all that. It's small enough to fit in my bag, but uh, not large enough where I can it can get stolen easily or anything. It also came with a strap, so if I'm ever out and I don't want to take my purse with me, I can just literally have my wallet as my bag that night. So uh, the easiest thing to grab out of my purse is also my wallet, also an impulse buy from Target. <laughs> it's a really simple and I can put all my cards and my money in there, but most importantly, it has the easy access to my passport. Don't steal my identity. The next thing that we're both bringing is our chargers. And we also have headphones that each of us are going to be bringing as well if we ever get annoyed with each other on the plane and don't want to talk anymore. The next thing that I have in my purse is my Polaroid camera. I want this to be in my purse so that I can grab it at a moment's notice just in case people are doing anything cute or something like that. The last thing that I have in my purse is a few pins and a pack of gum. I have pins and gum in both my purse and my book bag because you never know where you'll need it. All that's in my book bag because I'm leaving room in my purse for snacks. Perfect. So. Next order of business, book bags! <laughs> Next we will be discussing what is in our liquids bag. Rachel doesn't have hers so she's living vicariously through mine today. The most important thing that I need anywhere I go is my toothbrush. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to survive that nine hour flight without taking a break to brush my teeth. So I have to brush my teeth before I put in my retainer and I can't relax until I've done both of those things. I also have mouthwash and toothpaste in my bag as well. Thirdly, I have to take out my contacts or my eyes will fall out of my face. I have glasses. I don't mess with contacts. I'll also be bringing my glasses with me for when I do take off my contacts. I put on Vaseline all day every day so I have to take some on the plane with me or my lips will dry out. Allie's hand cream um, that I, I will be bumming off of her because I don't want to bring my own. Another essential for relaxing at the end of the day after we've been flying for so long is makeup wipes. It can still freshen up the face even if you're not wearing makeup. This just feels good. It's like hydrating and everything. Next in the liquid bag I have a little bottle of hand sanitizer because you never know what you're gonna get into on the airplane. Another thing that I have in this bag, just in case, is an extra hair tie. I usually have one in my hair or on my wrist, but I'm keeping one in this bag just in case. Next up, we have little bottles of perfume. We use ones in real life, but we obviously can't take those because they're too big, so we're taking small ones. So the next thing we're both bringing would be our laptops. We're going to be using this during class, and we're going to try and edit things on the plane um, as things go to make it easier for when we get to London. Another thing that we have in our bags is our reading material. Right now I'm reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and I'll probably still be reading it by the time we get to London. I'm reading City of Bones and um, I've been putting it off so that I can try and read as much as I can on the plane and not finish it on the plane and have nothing else to read. So one of the big things for me when I travel is I like to be comfortable. So I'm going to be bringing um, a hat with me. <laughs> along with um, a spare t-shirt that I could put on the plane um, just so I'm more comfortable. Another thing we will be having in our carry-on bags is our adapters for when we get to London because you never know when you'll need it. 
One of the things that I'll be bringing is my iPad with me. This is going to have a lot of games and movies on it, as well as more reading material for me. We'll also be bringing our laptop chargers just in case those die on the plane. We'll also be bringing our planners. We are in school, so we need to be keeping track of everything that's going on. And I just like to act like I'm busy. Sometimes we think we have our stuff together. And we don't. But a planner makes it seem like we do. Another thing both of us are going to bring is notebooks for us to write in. And um, I personally am going to be journaling a lot while I'm there. Um, a lot of the stuff I write in my journal, I'm also going to be writing in my blog. Um, but this is just for me, and I can have things written down and then transmit over to my computer later. And finally, and most importantly, the entertainment. I have a deck of cards just in case we won't play any games while we're waiting in the airport for our next flight. And I also have this game called Spotted. It's my favorite game ever. Very good for passing time. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm Rachel. I'm Allie. And we are Undergrad, Undergrad Nomads. We're really excited to take you on this adventure with us, and we hope that you enjoy all of our videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye! Let's begin, shall we? What do you Oh, it's so much. And I have to look for four flowers the entire time. What's up? No. This is my dog. That's a cat.